Good morning, this is Hansen from Melonport, here to give you a quick demo on how to set up your own on-chain decentralized crypto fund. So first, we need to go to Melon.fund, and Melon.fund is a web page you go to both as a fund manager, if you want to run your fund, as well as an investor. As you can see, we are currently operating on the Coven test network, that's so we can test our logic in a safe environment, but on the live network it looks exactly the same. And on the front page here, you can see um, all the funds that have been created and they're currently ranked after the share price. But you can also rank them uh, according to other metrics. And if you click on the fund itself, you get to the front page of the fund, which we'll show you later. But let's start with setting up our own fund. So first, you need to create your own wallet. Um, this is not the fund wallet, this is a personal wallet. Um, which gives you the right as a manager to manage the fund. So I'm going to create a new wallet. My 12 word seed phrase was generated and I wrote it down. And here I have to confirm that I wrote it down and import it. Great, now our personal wallet is generated. You can see the public address here or here. And we're ready to set up our own fund. In order to set up our own fund, we of course need some ether to pay for gas. Um, so we have to get some from the faucet. This step is of course not necessary if you're on the live mainnet because you should have some ether in your world already. And just a quick note, um, as you know, Melon is built on Ethereum and so you can only trade ERC20 tokens in the moment. And um, this is a little bug, this should be saying WETH, not Melon, because we're going to invest in our fund in WETH, which is wrapped Ether. Awesome, we got 1 Ether and 10 WETH, so now we can close the faucet and go back to Melon not Fund. Okay, this page should change, it's just the terms and conditions, I'm going to read them and sign them, confirm. And we are ready to set up our fund. First, we have to choose a name, so I'm going to call my name Hansen Test 3 and then you're going to go through the parameters and choose um, how you want to set them up, right? You have to choose the exchanges you want to integrate, and what assets register you want to have, how you want to do the KYC ML, the fees, the risk management, etc. And once you chose all the parameters of your fund, you, have to, uh, you can create and deploy the fund and from that moment on, you can only behave as preset specified. As this is not the final version yet, um, we have default settings right here, but in the actual version, you'll be able to choose your, your configurations. So I'm ready to create and deploy my fund. It's gonna cost me a bit of gas. Um, we have a default value of 20, but you can also use less gas. I'll confirm. And now I'm ready to invest in my own fund, right? And I'm going to invest, let's just say, uh, 5 WETH and submit request. Again, I have to confirm because it costs gas. And I'm going to confirm again. and I'm going to confirm one final time. And this is executing my request right now. Great! So now my fund has been successfully deployed on the blockchain and have successfully invested in my fund. You can see the date of inception is here, which is today. And currently I have 5 WETH as assets under management with a share price of 1 because it's not invested yet. <coughs> And here you can also see, you would see the management fee, performance fees, etc. On the right side over here, um, this is more for the investor. You could, you know, as an investor, if you would click on the fund's front page, you'd get here and then you can choose how much to invest in the fund. Let's move down a bit to check out what we have. Here is the asset universe which is also the assets you can buy. And as you can see currently, I only have 5 WETH, which I invested, which is 100% of my portfolio. And if you go down further here, this is really cool, you can see the aggregated order book of all the integrated exchanges, right? 
So we have those four exchanges integrated. You can you can take one away, and the order book will change. And at this point, it's important to emphasize that all of the exchanges we're integrating are decentralized exchanges. And the main difference here is that the custody of the assets with decentralized exchanges remains within your fund, as opposed to the centralized exchange, where you have to send your tokens to the fund wallet, uh, thus giving up custody. And as you know, it's less efficient, and also we've heard uh, counter stories of exchanges being hacked due to security um, frauds. Now here, which is very convenient, as I said, you see the combined order book, and let's go ahead and make our first trade. We can choose any token that we want. Let's say um, I like Gnosis, right? So I'm going to buy and sell. And here you see the Gnosis order book across all exchanges. I'm going to just place a market order. I'm going to choose this order. And I'm going to buy Gnosis. I have to confirm again that I'm going to place a trade. And if everything went well, and it did, we got our Gnosis now. And you can see this is really great because um, all the contracts automatically calculate asset allocation. You can see I have 80% uh, WETH, 19% Gnosis, and you could do this with any asset you would like. Great! So, um, Mona is going to send you in a separate file uh, the reporting tool, uh, which is really cool as well. It's, it's kind of um, you can use it as a fact sheet for the investors or, uh, as I said, as a reporting tool or even for auditors, uh, which immensely reduces the operational workload of running a fund. Thanks for staying with me, and if you want to try it out yourself, you're more than welcome to. We're looking forward to seeing your on-chain fund um, on the front page. Take care.